I can't deal with this anymore. <clears throat> Over in Greenwood, I didn't get a full 4G. Oh, we don't shut the fuck up now. And the guy right there, with the cap, wants to aim at his camera phone. Like I'm some kind of goddamn show. I got my face covered. This nigga right here stink. These three right here, the lady and the two guys. The one with the gray and the one with the cap. Basically everybody around here having a nice little party. Back and forth saying, oh, something wrong with her, something wrong with her. I'm in Jackson, Mississippi. I left Greenwood. Back and forth, oh, something wrong with her, oh, something wrong with her. And then over at the petrol truck stop before I even got here. This dirty ass, nigger ass cop. This guy gives me a ride and I go get my stuff and I'm walking through the store with my stuff. I step outside and pull out one of my cigarettes and light it up. I'm in a bad fucking mood. This cop who's supposedly working security comes outside, says, hey, how you doing? I'm in a bad mood, so I don't even feel like talking to the nigga. Then he goes yelling at me, telling him, hey, how you doing? I look at him, I'm like, I'm in a bad mood. I don't feel like talking. This man goes to getting in my face and yelling at me. And I said, you better get the fuck off your property. Yeah, get your goddamn ass off the property. Oh, 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 oh. And then jumping back and forth like he gonna either jump on me or lock me up. Threatening to fucking lock me up. I don't know the son of a bitch's name. Just to show you something. And I never delete my call log. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, but some numbers are personal. I don't need you dialing, motherfuckers. But let's look at the, oh gee, emergency number. Cause I was asking for a police supervisor. Let's go over how many times I call these people. And you could tell not now one person called me back. Nobody. Then I come over here. This dirty Jackson PD officer, this white guy gives me a ride. I mean, people left and right up around that motherfucking goddamn petrol truck stop treating me like dog shit. I mean, straight out dog shit. Oh, everybody shuts the fuck up now. I done made room on my goddamn camera phone. But for a while, everybody was playing circus saying, oh, something's wrong with her. Let's just emotionally abuse her. Let me ask y'all who view my videos. You ever felt so much emotional pain that shit manifests to be something physical and it feels like somebody actually fucking hit you and they never goddamn touched you? Well, that's been me the whole goddamn night. Oh, let's treat her like she's a mental case. Let's go back and forth and act like something's wrong with her. It doesn't matter what the fuck I do. Oh, something's always wrong with me. 
But back to what the fuck I was saying, that dirty goddamn cop. Um, Jackson Police Department, just to specify who. Yes, Jackson, Mississippi. Fat bitch, fuck you and fuck off. Really, fuck you and fuck off. Anyways, car number 1727 pulls up after the one guy drops me off over here to the Greyhound. And I'm going to tag the Jackson Police Department too in this shit. Comes over after I do. Parks his car. Doesn't greet me. Greets the security guard lady. As a male security guard and a female. I've never seen a female officer over here before. Security officer. <sighs> Had a fucking yawn. So. Motherfucker walks in here. Nobody makes any kind of call to him. I'm outside. The lady officer is trying to ask me what's going on and what's wrong. Now, this ain't no passenger. But he's sitting here for the night. I haven't sat in here before for the night. But then I come up and it's just so much of a motherfucking problem. The lady officer comes over and stops me like, gee, I'm your friend. So I'm expressing to her and reiterating to her the shit that that dirty ass cop at the um, Petro said to me and how he treated me. Oh, officer car number 1727 doesn't like that. For some odd reason, I'm just supposed to be little miss kiss law enforcement ass. Well. You ain't doing your jobs giving a fuck about me, protecting me, helping me, and nothing. So don't expect that shit. Really. I'm going to be a lot goddamn different. Already goddamn am. Comes over and stops. I don't even want interaction with law enforcement. With the way that officer did me earlier at the Petro, oh, hell goddamn motherfucking no. Comes over asking me a bunch of questions, so I'm expressing, I'm expressing to him how and why I just can't stand cops. And how they mistreat me. Well, you can't sit here tonight. Son of a bitch tells me you can't sit here tonight. This ain't no goddamn passenger right here. He could sit here for tonight. There was no police interaction for him to be able to come in and sit the fuck down and stick the goddamn place up. But the fuck ass cop tells me, you can't sit here tonight. That's all cops ever tell me is, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Fucking hate these bitches. I mean, for real, with the way I was treated at that Petro by that one officer, I get goddamn yelled at. Not for disorderly conduct or drop your weapon I didn't have a goddamn weapon bitch no I get yelled at for not responding to a goddamn motherfucking hey how you doing you have the right to remain silent where the goddamn fuck is that yeah that shit gets said when you get locked up but god damn it I wasn't even locked up detained or nothing and still, I don't have the right to shut the fuck up when I'm pissed the fuck off. When you need to be happy that I did. And then the goddamn cop is over there with the security guards cracking jokes and laughing. Like it's funny. And then giving me dirty mean mug and looks like he fucking hates me. Let me help you. Let me help you goddamn bitch-ass cops understand something because I'm so goddamn 
with the way I was treated at the fucking Petro and the cop that just came over here, he could watch the video and get goddamn mad. I don't give a good goddamn. Let me help you understand something. You want to be antagonistic? Well, guess what? I'm quite sure that I'm not going to matter as much as Sandra Bland did. But why don't you just fucking goddamn pull a Ferguson? Shut the fuck up. Pull a Ferguson. And do whatever the fuck you want. Because guess what? My family doesn't care about me. My so-called friends don't care about me. Nobody else cares about me. The only ones who seem to even care about me are my children. But don't worry. My children are being taught to either forget me or hate me. Okay? So pull whatever the fuck you want to. And just leave me the goddamn fuck alone. I swear to God with the way I'm being treated. What? Tonight? By both officers? I swear to fucking God I hate you. I mean, it'll get here at 4.15.